All right. Hi, guys. So this is going to be like um, essentially just me. Um, we're going to get ready my car before work. Because um, I essentially hang out in my car all the time. I don't know why. It's my own personal space. It's my safe zone. So um, I have no filter. Um, I don't try and hurt anybody's feelings. But I'm human. I am who I am. I'm not politically correct. I am a product of my environment. Granted, I try and be better than my environment because let's face it, nowadays our environment needs people to rise above and not be petty. But hey, whatever. So, let's get ready. Grab my stuff. And I'm in work backpack. So, my get ready with me in the morning is very super simple because I don't like a lot of makeup because I sweat a lot and masks on my face and sweating and that's a whole deal so I recently just got this wet and wild retractable brow pencil um, I'm not a makeup guru it does its job and that's about it I gotta pluck a few eyebrows real quick because, again, I'm not a makeup person. I'm not really a beauty guru. I did go to beauty school. I did pass. And I did at one point get my license. So I passed a board and all of that. But I didn't try or I didn't realize what I wanted to do until it was too late and I would prefer to do like skincare rather than hair, nails, and makeup. And I dropped it. Dropped my tweezers. Oh Lord help me. My car likes to eat everything. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Did you get any little bastards? Okay, maybe I'm not doing my eyebrows today. Apparently. Okay, so I'm not doing my eyebrows. Apparently they decided to tell me no. Mm. Matcha green tea frappuccino. My matcha green tea smoothie boba place is gone. Or not gone, but pandemic, it's shut down. The green tea matcha frapp from Starbucks is essentially just like it. It's just missing the boba. <laughs> Darn it, I was gonna get my little, so I have a mole right here and I get hair. I was gonna get that today, but I guess I'm not. All right, back to my eyebrows, I guess. Oh. All right, wet and wild. It just goes. And has a brush on the other end. Like I said, I'm not a perfectionist. I think it maybe takes me five minutes to do my makeup in total. And I'm cross-eyed, guys. So if you see me going cross-eyed in this, that's what it is. This eye. This eye will go that way. So don't make fun of me. It is what it is. I've had glasses my whole life. I'm waiting on Costco to fill my prescription for new ones, so. Eyebrow. When I do my eyebrows, creep, I try to get a nice line underneath, so I have that, not underneath, but like, make it sharp-ish. And then on the top, because my eyebrows are kind of thick, I try and make that as even as possible because they're not. I'll show you one day, like, and people are going to be looking at me and I'm self-conscious 
This is my first time essentially recording myself. So bear with me. And that's essentially it. And then after I do this side, I'll go and brush them. I have a lot of stuff coming up. I'm going to be 30 years old to this year, guys. Almost said today. That's funny. Oh, I like that guy. He's cool. The guy that parked next to me. He's very decent. I work at Amazon, guys. Uh, Multi-billion dollar industry. Or company. My bad. Alright, so that's my eyebrows. Not perfect, but... I stress out and run my eyebrows all day, so they essentially come off. And then my eyeliner... This is L'Oreal Paris Vol Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. I just do it like this. Literally in between my water lines. So I don't touch my eye. Pop it in the middle and go me, me, me. Ta-da. I can do my eyeliner without looking. Essentially, that's it. And now mascara. So, I decided to do this because I've been working for Amazon for going on three years in July. Or end of July will be three years. And because I live so far away, about a 40 minute drive, I get here hella early because parking nightmare and I don't want to walk a mile to my car after walking probably 10 miles in total together during the day I'm lazy screw it but not so lazy that I don't wake up so I essentially I wake up at 5 in the morning and I get here I'll go get my I can't say coffee because I haven't had coffee since December uh, my matcha frappuccino and then um, I get here around probably 6.15, depending on if I clock, or if they want me to run shit, um, I'll clock in at 7.15, if not, then I clock in at 7.30 or 7.45. There's a lot of different positions that vary the clock in time, at least for me and like four other associates because we essentially run shift we haven't had a shift supervisor um in probably over a year so uh, but we do have one now unfortunately not that there is anything wrong with her i just like being in charge i like having that responsibility so yeah mascara sorry Anyway, I get here so early, I got bored, and I do my makeup every morning anyway, so I figured why not start a little get ready with me thing, because I'm bored. And why not? It's my fucking life. Let me do something. And I'm lonely. Talk to myself anyway, so why not record it? Anyway. And I don't like open my mouth a lot when I do my mascara, to be honest. Like, I'm pretty good at uh, doing it with a normal face. Now, on the lower lashes, you gotta do it because you gotta move these bitches. That's what gets ya, is them cheekies. So I kind of just vogue it.
now pull your cheek out the way. And essentially I'm done. Some days I don't even put on eyeliner. My little mag has. Okay, 100% guys, I'm gonna level with you. These things. It's called squinchers. It's good, bomb. Um, so think of it like a Gatorade, Powerade, but concentrate. So you only add water up to this line and it keeps you hydrated. I swear to God, this is the reason I still have a job. I overheat and I don't drink water like I should because uh, I don't think about it. Um, so this has been a lifesaver. They make them in popsicles. They make them in powder form where you can add two water. I don't like to sit and drink on shit, so we got a, a cleaner. They blow, they clean the parking lot. But it's loud. <laughs> I get a blowjob every morning. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was funny though. But anyway, I don't like to sit and drink on like sugar. I don't like Powerades. I don't like Gatorades. I don't, I know it really doesn't have sugar or much, but to me it does. So, highly recommend. They come in different flavors. This is called the Fast Pack. Um, like I said, they have the powder where you can mix it into your water and they have popsicles for like summertime. So it's essentially like a uh, grown up Pedialyte maybe if I can equate it to that. Yeah. So I don't think you want to sit here and see me ramble for like another hour. But yeah, so I'll usually do my eyebrows and mascara before I head inside. So like five, ten minutes before I head inside, um, I'll do my makeup. That way it's nice and fresh and good to go. And yeah, so now I'm just going to sit here and probably scroll through my phone. Hopefully my mom will message me back because I talk to my mother almost every day right now. Y'all, I'm at 30 this year. That's right. 30. Told you I had a bunch of stuff coming up. So, I have surgery on the 18th for, I have endometriosis. It is where the lining of a woman's uterus grows inside her abdomen cavity outside of her uterus. So you got that devil ram head looking area down there. Think of like Medusa tendrils. The only way I can think about it. I don't know. So I have surgery to remove the scar tissue, which is essentially the endometriosis. Um, and then I will be put on a pill to stop my hormone production to see if um, it will help reduce pain, if at all. Um, if it does stop my endometriosis pain, that means I will have to, I will have to have a hysterectomy. Um, I mean, so my thing about this, I know this, Ooh. My husband and I have come to the terms. We're okay with not having kids. We like our stuff. We like spoiling the kids that are in our lives without necessarily having the responsibility. Fucking shoot us. Whatever. So that's the choice, right? Um, my, I don't know, annoyance. Not annoyance, but depression where my depression and anxiety kick in is it's not a choice anymore. Like I can't go back. I won't be able to go back and be like, Hey, do you want to have a kid? Like, let's try. No. Um, so essentially it's kind of, it's good that I chose not to have kids, but at the same time we can't change our minds biologically. 
we know we can adopt and we probably will if we decide that's what we need in our lives um but right now it's more leaning towards animals and rescuing them and um just providing and helping for them stuff like that but anyway yeah so uh endometriosis yeah so i probably will be menopausal before i'm 30 this year woot woot but what can you say that's life some days i'm better about it some days i'm not today is an okay day um I mean, it'll hit me out of nowhere. Like, I won't think about it. Nothing. I'm having a great day. And then, randomly, it's just, like, it's a sock in my, like, in this area of my chest, almost. And this necklace my beach gave me. And she loves me. You win the best. Anyway, so it's, like, right here. And, like, it's, like, I want to throw up. But then I, I don't want to throw up. And it's, like, a, it's not, like, a sick pressure I say throw up because when I get weird pressure in my stomach I don't feel nauseous I just feel pressure and that makes me want to throw up when I feel a weird feeling in my chest I don't get nauseous it just that pressure feeling makes me throw up I'm a weird one you're gonna find out within this thing like I'm fucking weird and I cuss a lot so I may bleep myself out but I may not uh that's a lot for a first video guys I'm sorry <laughs> but I figure I'd give you a basis ground work backstory a little bit into what's happening um yeah so next week I go in for pre-op and yeah I'm nervous <laughs> alright guys I will either see you later today probably after work for some check-in time and see mm, who I wanted to throat punch <laughs> oh. um, I haven't named this series yet I don't know a name for it it's just me it's just Bree <laughs> alright guys